Hello everyone, I'm Master KK from Circle 96. Master Kuo from Circle 96. Welcome to the five Feng Shui secrets you should know about reserve residences. Hmm. When we did our homework just now, uh, we were so terri- horrified, terrified, and uh, uh, surprised. Uh, there's so many history behind this condominium. Actually, I feel more like I learned more about Singapore history, culture, and heritage. I totally agree. With you. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's uh, jump into the progress yeah. straight away. Okay. Uh, nice music. Uh, this is our team. We have a team of six people. Uh, we have Master Sharon uh, on the stream left, um, which is the founder of the company. And then we have uh, Master Kuo over here. Master Charlene, Master Simas, Master Eric. Okay, so we are from Circle 96 and today we are doing this without being paid by the developers or property agents. Okay, we are doing this because we know our products, we know our skills and we want to share the knowledge with you so that you, when you buy a property, you are very well protected or at least you are educated. Okay, all the information presented in this video is based on personal opinions circa 96 llp and corporate function guru private limited is not liable for any losses expenses damage or illnesses whatsoever relating to investment decision or feng shui implementation made by the audience the informations presented are for reference and educational purpose only okay so this is the the thing about the master core that says uh, he learns about singapore history hmm. okay so this is the road uh from uh uh, 10 shop houses in Jalan Jurong Kecil. Okay, so what is the history that I want to share with you? We're going to share a photograph and you make a guess. Okay, yep. So, this is the photograph. As you can see, there's a gentleman on the left, extreme left hand side. I'm sure you can, from the head, you can recognize that this is a Japanese Japanese soldier. And from the black and white photograph, you know it's during World War II. And the lady on the stream right, as you can see, is still wearing kimono. Or, uh, you know, uh, 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 this is obviously comfort woman. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry that this, this is a topic that is brought up by part of history. And uh, the houses that we show you just now, the 10 houses, basically are the... Uh, comfort, comfort home. Comfort homes, yeah. So Japanese officers messed. This is the Japanese officer mess where the comfort women are stationed here. And uh, uh, yeah, this is where they actually suffered. Okay. Okay. Good. So this is where the history, like I said, this is verified. Uh, this is from National Museum of Singapore. Uh, a presentation did in 2019, and we have um, a cutout over there, and it stated it's Jalan Jurong Kecil. Okay. Of course, there are a few other places in Ken Hill, in Tio Hong Road, etc. Okay. But uh, today we're just going to talk about um, Jalan Kecil because uh, Jalan Jurong Kecil because. Uh, we are talking about the uh, reverse residences. Reserve residence is happened to be near there. Correct. 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 Just down yeah. the road. Okay. Let's see the map. Let's take a look at the map. Exactly. Okay. So this is the map. All right. This mm. is the street directory. And uh, before we actually begin, we want to shout out, give a shout out to the good people of street directory. Uh, thank you for doing a good job. This is actually powered by street directory, and uh, we like street directory very, very much because uh, colored, uh, precise, and uh, it is accurate. Okay. So we divide the the sector that means we put our uh, reverse reserve residences in the center and then we spread out to eight sector and you can tell that the uh, Jurong Kecil is in the south so in the west sector all right as you can see over here it's blinking okay now that's the 10 houses so what does the south stand for master what's the south uh, the west not the south oh, sorry the west i keep saying the west <laughs> the south oh, sorry okay. the <laughs> west actually signifies the mouth it also signifies happiness Okay, then the West, right, also signifies this thing called temptation. In Chinese, we call yu huo. So if there is this comfort home or comfort house down there, right, actually it's not very good. Okay. The guys, right, will probably, you know, uh, do some funny, funny things because the energy is there. Yeah, it's the probably the man, this, you know, surrounding this area, seek pleasure from from from, yes. from organizing all right uh when west also represents happiness west also represents broken symbolized broken yes okay. uh, so damage damaged correct. then another thing is uh comfort woman right mm. uh to be very simple they are pretty they got pretty tragic life mm. very sad then this sector happened to be representing happiness yeah. so with very sad tragic past down there right 
I don't know how happy can it be. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Correct. And then we have a temple over there. Temple represents yes. fire element, yes. uh, which is also not good for the West because West represents metal element. Uh, West also represents the dental, uh, mm. the, the throat, the tongue, the lips. So uh, watch out as well. Be careful. Maybe these are... Uh, Asthmatic uh, issue, uh, sore throat or right. dental issue or this thing. Correct. It can also be communications having some problems. Yes. Okay. Uh, when vice, uh, for example, vice is, is there, vice represents water. So communication is weak. Mm. Not be able to, to, to present yourself well or uh, alternatively, when you make a presentation, people are ignoring you. Okay. okay. And then they have a bus interchange under construction over there in the West as well. Mm. So when a bus interchange is uh, constructed and it's in service, it's going to be very noisy. We all know bus interchange are noisy. So tentatively, uh, you also can tell us that uh, maybe this person who, that stays in there are also all very loud. They tend to be a bit louder than, than normal. So communication not have to be loud, but communication has to be effective. Okay? Correct. Yeah, have to be accurate and have to be convincing. Okay. So that's proper com communication. All right. So today, this is the very first thing I want to share with you. All right. And the second thing I want to share with you is this Anat Bukit on the past. Okay. Now, you may find that how come we keep sharing things that are not auspicious? Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, you're paying for a pro condo that's one over a million, two million, up to three million, you know, or more. Um, we want you to be educated. It's not that we purposely bring out the not auspicious item or places in the condo to, to tarnish the developer. No, this is not our, our idea. Whatever we see, we share. You are the one who made the decision. You decide for yourself. To be okay? very honest, the outside environment, right, also got nothing to do with the developer. These are something that they also cannot control. Correct. They can only control how tall the building is, you know, what material to use, but the exterior environment that is going to affect the people staying inside, right? They also cannot be in control. Correct. So don't blame them also. Yeah. And you cannot rewrite the history. history. Yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what, what's my concern with uh, Anat Bukit underpass? So Anat Bukit, the, the two words represent small little hill. Okay, so Anna is children, and when we talk about Hill, it also represents the third son. Mm. Okay, so Anna Bukit underpass, but let's look at Anna Bukit underpass is stated, situated in the north sector of the condominium. Wow. Okay, so uh, north sector represents water, represents memories, represents the year 2020. So if you are already purchasing this property or have already thought about purchasing this property, think back, was the 2020 a tragic year? All right, and I think Mr. Ko has something to share more about the uh, civilizations of North Sector. All right. Okay. The North represents our kidney, correct? correct. It also represents our bladder. Mm. Uh, in Chinese, we call it Niao Si Tong. Mm. Or we can also say that it's our so called Sen Zi Qi. Mm. Okay, reproductive uh, organs, mm. no matter it's male or female. Mm. Okay, so if you look closely, right, this road is like a long road, mm. correct or not? It's just like a pipe. Mm. Okay, in Chinese, right? This is like our Niao Tao. Mm. Okay, can you imagine Bukit is like a hill? Mm. Can you imagine Niao Tao inside got a hill? What happened? It tells us that you probably got some stones yeah. in the... Urinary yeah, urinary, ur urinary track. Okay, then you look further away, right? There's a patch of green. Okay, because the north sector, right, is represented by the water element. Okay, so when there is a lot of wood element there, right, it will actually exhaust this sector. So high chance, right, you might suffer from diabetic issue or gout issue. Okay, these are some of the probably uh, illnesses or diseases that people stay inside, right, are very prone to. But of course, there might be more because underpass, right, is black. So like just now what I say, right, north, represents your reproductive organ. So if your reproductive organ, you can't put out the pain. Wow. Mm. So like you have a bit of imaginations. Um, you also are very prone to UTI attack. Yep. Okay. So that black color is literally not auspicious at all. Okay. That's the reason why I say I love Street Directory because Street Directory gives us a lot of information. I, 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 I strongly suggest as home buyers, go and get yourself a street directory on our uh, apps, you know, and then start uh, home searching. It really is really helpful. Okay. And what Master Master Kuo did mentioned, uh, green green patch is not good for you. So North also represents a second sun. 
yep. of the family. That means first daughter, first brother, second brother, second brother of the family. So if you have a second son, maybe you also want to take care uh, of him, give him a bit more, show him more love because he's obviously very under undernourished in love. Probably mm. suffer from some uh, yeah, I remember, psychological I, yeah, psychological problem. I remember uh, I ever did an analysis for one of the client, right? There's a black underpass, but that client, the black underpass, right, is on the south. It's not on the north. Okay, so that time when I asked, she was telling me, what the earth is is you know, visiting psychiatrists. That's why there are certain illnesses and diseases, right, that probably you can't see with your naked eyes. That's why your second son, you know, have to pay extra attention to it. It might also be depression. Totally agree with you. All right. Uh, why I say that's uh, potential for depression because we're going to talk about the Northeast later. Mm. Right? Northeast also has a bit of, of, of issues there. And, and, and that, that one is going to create some depression or anxiety attack. Okay, but let's go slowly. All right, uh, before we go to the next sector, let's do a bit of uh, introduction. To what is the difference between feng shui and modern feng shui? Okay, so in feng shui or traditional feng shui or, 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 or just literally feng shui, basically they want you to buy a lot of auspicious items. Uh, in our words, they say we turn your house into a Chinese temple or a zoo. Well, modern feng shui, which is what my circle nine six is practicing, we basically use whatever we have at home in, or in your house to create harmony, health, and prosperity without purchasing anything. And we pray ourselves that uh, when someone comes to visit you, they do not know that you have feng shui your house already. That's how beautiful it is. Okay, that's a picture to show you how feng shui is done. All right, and uh, this is the beauty world bus interchange. I think we did mention about a bus interchange just now. That's going to talk a bit more about bus interchange. This bus interchange is going to come into operation uh, end of this year or next year. Really. Cool. Yeah. So so it's going to be very convenient. So they have MRT station there and yes. the bus interchange over there. So it becomes like a transportation hub. Yeah. So of where course, people stay there, you know, more convenient. They can take bus. They can take train. Right. Agree with you. Last time, Beauty World, right, is like very inaccessible. <laughs> now got MRT, got bus interchange. Correct. Right. So of course there are there are food food hawker center. Yes, yeah, a lot of food. Yeah, yes. Center. So so go and eat the hawker center food. Very nice. Uh, I remember there's Chat Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure it's still there or not. Okay. So Chat Okay is good. So anyway, uh, let's talk about Feng Shui. So there's a beauty world bus in the change, and this bus in the change happens to be in the uh south west sector, southwest sector. Okay. So we, again we draw the street directory, the map for street directory, and then we draw the southwest sector. Southwest sector, as you can see, the bus interchange. Bus interchange basically is wood element. Southwest sector represents the lady's uh, uterus, womb. It also represents the whole family digestive system. When you have uh, earth element and southwest sector and then your bus station is wood element, it's basically creating a lot of uh, uh, issues for tummy, for stomach, you know, indigestions, constipation, etc., or bloatedness, you know, and, and uh, this is also not so good for the female you reproductive organs. Yep. Uh, con uh, coinciding with the north sector um, problems, uh, this is really uh, giving ladies more trouble. Okay. So, Master, have anything to to add on to to this? For example, what what happens if people are a customer or doing business, let's say okay. customer sales or, or business owner? Because Southwest, right, represents customer. Mm. So can you imagine uh, a bus interchange? There will always be bus in, out, in, out. Mm. So your customer is always in, out, in, out. It tells us that, you know, you've got problem retaining your customer. They are customer, they are not client. Yeah, they, they are not the long-term customer that, you know, they just come in and out, in and out. Then Southwest, right? In Chinese, zu chang, it means hide, the ability to save money. Mm. A few days back, a customer asked me, oh, so this is Chai Wei. I said, no, no, no. Technically, Southwest is not considered Chai Wei. It's the ability to save money. Uh, I think that one is more important than Chai Wei. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you imagine uh, the bus in the chain always in out, your money always in out? How are you going to save if the money is keep on in and out, in and out? Yes, the, the cash flow also got problem. Oh, right. So it also tells us that money, right, is very difficult to keep. Mm -hmm. There will always be things that, you know, probably happen that you have to come up with a large sum of money. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the worst thing. Right. 工作了那么多年, 结果, you know, just... Correct. 
泡汤了 totally, ，so sad totally, 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 totally. <laughs>、yes. yeah, a lot of people ask, but I'm not staying in a house. How can this be be determined? So I want you to go back and re- re- recall, okay, a few things. If you're talking about a、uh, terrible year, it would be two zero two zero for the north, and then for the southwest, it would be the year for two thousand and fifteen, two thousand sixteen. Okay, go back and 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 do a bit of a recap of your of your life. Was it atrocity for you? Okay,、uh, now we're going to talk next a bit about、uh, the next sector. All right, this is the bus interchange. Okay, it's a big, pretty big bus interchange. Big yes. Bus interchange,、okay? uh, and this is the northeast sector we're talking about. A huge piece,、hmm. uh, piece of green. All right, and we also want to give a shout out to the people of Google Earth and Google Map. Thank you so much for producing such clear, clear、uh, pictures. So we can use it in our presentation. Yeah,、uh, continue to work hard and、uh, give us more <laughs> quality uh, uh, photograph and, and 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 clear picture. Thank you so much, Google. All right, so、um, use Google or use all the all the necessary tools you have、uh, that's accessible to you to help you select a good house. All right, and this is the northeast sector of、uh, the reverse reverse residences, which is a、uh, uh, natural reserve. Okay, and having the natural reserve in the northeast, it's really not good for you because northeast represents earth element, right? When you have a lot of green in the earth element, it, earth is being controlled by the wood element, resulting issues in quick careers. Okay, not just that,、um, uh, earth also represents, sorry,、uh, northeast also represents shoulder, your neck, you know, and your arms,、uh, for ladies who be pregnancy. Uh, and breast, so it's not something that、uh, going to be very stressful for you.、Uh, so I hope that you are able to look into it. You know, try to do some、um, medication or do- see some see doctor at the moment you don't feel comfortable. I、right, don't take chances. Right, don't be in a state of denial as well. Okay, master, anything you want to share about northeast、uh, for children and things like that? Northeast, right, generally represents children.、Mm-hmm. So if you are a married couple.、Mm-hmm. No children yet, you know. When the northeast is weak, right, you might have problem conceiving. Okay, but that's just one point to consider because there are some other things that you need to look at. Okay, then of course northeast, right? Like just now, what Master Kiki mentioned, it represents the hand. Okay, it tells us that helping hand is very little. 没有贵人的帮忙 Then one more thing, ah,、uh, northeast is very important because. The earth element, right, where represents stability. So if you know it's often being controlled by the wood element, right, that means you are always easily paranoid. 精神比较压力比较紧张 Then when the novice is weak, harmony is not there because novice represents harmony. 可能常常 you know 吵吵闹闹 quarrel all this thing. Okay. So if you want to have very strong Gui Ren, Northeast must be very strong. If it's weak, a lot of things you have to DIY, do it yourself.、Mm-hmm. Even Northeast represents manpower. Yes, HR. So,、yeah, your your your. If you are a boss yourself, ah,、uh, your you always face with a、uh, pretty critical human resource issues. Yes.、Uh, like Master Go、um, mentioned, there's lack of harmony. Of course, now West there's if something that change, they talk loudly. Yes. Also have harmony sometimes. Really, you don't have to talk loudly. You know, you just need to prove your point, not prove your voice. You know, yeah.、Uh, Northeast also represents、uh, little children. Master Paul mentioned,、mm. especially the third son.、Um, I, I did mention just now, Anat Bukit. You know, third son. So third son is something that we we are more concerned. So we want you to pay more attention if you have a third boy. That means two bro- two other brother at birth. Okay, good. Having、uh, covered with Northeast, I also want to uh, uh, tell you a bit about.、Uh, Whatever we mentioned just now, our method of seeing the houses can be done by yourself as well. You can self help. Okay,、uh, I know it's not easy to to look for a good house. That's why we created、uh, our company created a book that's able to help you to do a selection.、Uh, this is a physical workbook,、um, and in this workbook, we'll teach you how to draw the eight sector right over here. Okay, like step by step, hold your hand and teach you how to do it, and then we also will tell you which sector. Have to avoid certain buildings, and this written over here very clearly. For example, the north sector, you need to avoid the police station. You need to avoid a、uh, park. You know, for example, so it's all there. And how many parks are there? It's written there. How many construction sites is there? All can be circled up. Okay, all can be written there for you to see very clearly, and it also gives you a conclusion. How many points you get after you? 
if you get more than four points, that means this sector fails. All right, four is a borderline. The moment you go in four points, this sector fails. All right, and then if it fails, what are the problems? Which year are you going to face a problem? Who is going to face a problem? What kind of health issues are you going to have? It's all written there for you. So this is a very comprehensive book. It's the only one in the world and it's produced by Circle 96. And I hope you can get it one yourself and it's very cheap. This one is only $47. This $47 you pay, you give you a 30 minutes house analysis some more. Right, for the first 20 people. All, all you need to do is just call our office 8448-7416. 8448-7416 and speak to Wendy. This is the book. Okay? And for friends who wants to be uh, more reliable, uh, reliable on us, we can do it for you as well. I'll have a promotion here because I know house action basically is so important. Now, why I say it's so important, imagine when you go and purchase a pair of jeans, do you just grab the jeans and go? No. You obviously will check the size, you try it out the colors, you, you, you check the seams, you check the zip, etc. But when you're purchasing a million dollar property, over a million dollar, okay, you do not get a second opinion, you do not get an expert to come and ask you, I tell you, tell you whether it's good or not. I always believe that if you have dentist problem, dental problems, go to a dentist. You don't ask a fishmonger how to solve your dental problems. Um, nothing to say bad about the property agents. Property agents basically want to sell you their properties. Uh, after that, it's your problem, really. They don't care. They just want a commission, okay? And this is the fact. There's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> they are just doing their job. Their job is to sell you the best property they can offer, okay? With the correct budget and the place that you like, all right? So if you want to sell out your three properties, we can help you, okay? And for the six, first, first six people, we're going to give you the free book and blast the price of 2388 is only going to be costing you a very little $1,088, okay? This one will give you the three best property to select. That means you say, you give us a property, we'll tell you which is the best. Now, today, we're only going to cover the exterior. We are not going to cover the interior, okay? The interior takes more time and to explain. So, we're going to talk about exterior only, okay? When you select your house, we're going to talk about interior as well, all right? Now, this is another concern that we have, and this is the uh, bird's eye view from... Uh, from the satellite by uh, Google. Google Earth. Google Earth, correct. And you can see this is the uh, bow and arrow. Okay? Yeah. So, Master, you want to tell us what's the implication for uh, bow and arrow? Bow and arrow uh, means someone shooting arrow at you. Mm. So, if you got a bow and arrow, it tells us that maybe you have loss of kin, mm. okay? Betrayal. Someone take your money, run away, example. Mm. Then also there might be a uh, lost promotion, mm. maybe miscarriage, all this thing. Basically, are uh, all the bad thing. Don't take bow and arrow as the cubic arrow. Uh, that one's Salah. Okay. <laughs> so these are two pictures we just showed you, uh, both from Google, uh, Google Earth and Google Map. And you can see uh, the arrow comes from uh, this side. Always once you put the map up. Okay? Wow, this is point blank. Correct. This is literally point blank at the northeast sector. Mm -hmm. So northeast sector represents the year 2021, 2022. So obviously it was last year, but it's going to come back again in 2033, 2034. So do not take this lightly. Okay. And of course we have the 12 months. You also have the 12 uh, Days. Day, daily times. Okay. So uh, try to be careful. When you talk about northeast, if you are expecting a third boy, third boy that means two brother above the third boy you may want to get yourself a very good gynae because they will have difficulty in pregnancy or or labor or uh, the child tends to be a bit uh, uh early and a bit sick when he was is young just now we are talking about northeast also represent hr right Correct. can you imagine hr sector with a bow and arrow betray if you are a business owner your employee betray you take all your customer run away take your money run away this type of thing you know so wow good luck to you right. um, but if you want to know how to select top management people uh, just give us a call 8448-7416 we can sit down with you and teach you how to do a selection for manpower this is obviously aside from feng shui this is yes. for corporate but that's way you can tell uh, based on their birth date, we know uh, whether they are potential betrayer people or not. Uh, uh, what the Chinese call it fun kwa <laughs> okay. Cantonese. Cantonese. Right? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. So we're going to talk about 
uh, Feng Shui again. A lot of people are very enthusiastic about Feng Shui and where can we get more reading materials. Uh, this is the website that you can get more reading materials. The very first book we have is Peace of Mind, written by Master Sharon and myself for friends who already are staying in a house and want to improve their Feng Shui. Uh, the second book is most important for you, the seven piece of vital information your property agents can't share. All right? It's not that they can't share, they don't know, they're not trained. Even they're trained, they cannot be trained. They are, they are, they are, they are, the profession is to sell house, okay? And uh, the third one is for business owner. You want to know why uh, your business is not doing well. Maybe because you play something in your office that you sabotage yourself, all right? So the very fourth book would be uh, written by our whole team. It's for uh, mother, uh, for our mother, mother's health, how to improve our mother's health, okay? And a lot of anxiety in children's examinations, <laughs> children got PSLE, etc. So uh, we have a book written especially to help parents uh, cater to their children's study needs and improve their academic, all right? So when you get a keys, you want to renovate your place, the number 27 uh, interior design myth is very good for you, you know? For example, uh, can we can we have a mirror in front of our bed? Uh, can we have a, do we need to build a, a screen, a windscreen in between our hall and our windows, etc.? Or I explain that in details. Okay, so uh, take a note of this uh, website. We, we spend a lot of time writing all these ebooks, you know, and, and, and creating this ebook. So, uh, you know, if you can, grab one. All right. Good. Um, this would be the e uh, QR code if you want to purchase the uh, book, the check workbook checklist. Okay. Checklist workbook, sorry. And this will be the QR code if you want to uh, do a function audit by our masters. And this will be the QR code if you want to do a house selection. Okay, uh, we've got a few more sectors to tell you, and this will be the sector we want to tell you about. You know, this is also how you select your house for for uh, uh, house selection. Okay, imagine you uh, this is the condo, and then you split up into eight sectors as usual. Then you start boxing it up. Okay, as you can see, this is boxed up in dark blue color. Those missing corners sectors are painted in pink. Those Colorful green colors are the one that is external, that is protruding. You do not want to have pink colors. You want to have as many green colors as possible, or at least don't have any pink, no green, no problem. That is a squarish house, okay? So how do you know? You don't know until we tell you how, how is to determine, all right? So if you have a missing corner in the Southwest, it's really, really not so good for you because Southwest represents mother. Uh, Southwest represents Earth. The moment you don't have Southwest depressions, maybe very easily set in or anxiety attack. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we leave you with a lot of information today. I hope you can like and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and of course pass this forward to, to your friend if you are if you find this useful. Okay, uh, if you are already considering to buy a property, come look for us. Call our office at eight four four eight seven four one six. Or if you already purchased this property, you want to know how you can address those situations that we did mention just now, give us a call. What we did just now was basically an x-ray reading of your property. Okay, Once we did the x-ray, we know other problems, we are able to resolve it, we are able to remedy it. All right? Good. Uh, Master Ko, anything else you want to share with everyone? Nope. Nothing. Good. Well, That's all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening to us. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to uh, improve our history. I never studied history so hard in my school days or so. <laughs> Even though I'm very good in my history. <laughs> this, you know, when we practice Feng Shui, right, we learn more about Singapore culture, heritage, and history. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So you should, you know, all the audience, right, should recommend their children to learn Feng Shui too. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe I'll we'll, we'll strongly suggest that um, try to get local feng shui master to do it for you because we know the history, we know the uh, few things in Singapore that maybe other people don't know. Yep. Okay, yeah. Okay. Having said that, uh, we wish everybody uh, happy, healthy, and prosperous. Bye bye. Bye.